It was no disaster, but we think we noticed a change in how the federal government intends to manage these things in the future. Because cell phones were jammed with calls today, the Federal Emergency Management Agency said, quote, we request that members of the public use email or text messages, if possible, to communicate for the next few hours. Lucy Jones is a seismologist at the U.S. Geological Survey. Lucy, what kind of earthquake was this? This is what's called a thrust faulting earthquake, which is a description of a type of fault. It's part of the central Virginia seismic zone. It's a place that's had earthquakes in the past, but this is the largest one we've ever seen. So it's relatively garden variety, just and in a place that's had them, but not very often. Why was it felt so far up and down the East Coast? Well, out in the East Coast, your rocks are hard and cold and no faults breaking them up. So they, it's like a good solid bell. It does a better job of transmitting the energy than the broken up rocks here on the West Coast. And so we always see it. The previous times, the magnitude's close to six been felt over the whole East Coast. And it's just what your rocks are like out there. And would we expect any aftershocks from this? We definitely expect aftershocks. We've recorded a couple so far. But all, so far, they've all been smaller than magnitude 3 and therefore would only have been felt right on top of, of the epicenter itself. To get an aftershock large enough to be felt, say, in New York would be pretty surprising. But if it was going to happen, it'll probably be within the next day or two. The risk dies off with time very quickly. Lucy Jones, seismologist with the U.S. Geological Survey. Thank you. Thank you.